So my inspiration comes from everywhere and I tend not to stick to one particular topic either. So it's all very personal. It tends to be whatever I'm feeling or what my mood is at the time. <laughs> it starts from like a little spark of an idea, but my pieces grow quite organically when I'm working on them. So I'll draw it out in pencil and then I will cut it out using a craft knife. And then once I've cut it out, I flip it over and then that's the finished piece. I get quite enthusiastic about the materials that I'm using because paper is such a, a diverse material. You know, it's sort of around us all the time, but it can be so specialist and everything from the everyday to the sort of really finest papers. They're all beautiful to work with in different ways. So this is a piece I made. I just got back from a trip where I'd been away for four months. It was kind of quite a meditative thing to be cutting out these and I did it out of this special paper that I'd found so you can sort of play with it. But these are my children's books. This one's about a hummingbird in the jungle. It's all appeared to die for. So it's really nice. Paper cutting can be used in so many different ways and applied to loads of different things which is really great. I sometimes have to pinch myself with the reaction that I get for my artwork. I mean you know, if for anybody to, who doesn't know you to like your artwork is the most amazing feeling. And the support that I'm getting these days, especially on Instagram, it's really brought an audience from all over the world to my work. And that's been the response that I've got to some of it has been incredible.